concentration camp at Terrazin, but of course with nothing to eat and nothing to drink in this kind of mockery of a cabaret entertainment. Schwenk was a very uh, famous uh, cabaret composer and he put on several shows in that concentration camp which was full of entertainments, full of theater, uh, concert versions of opera, uh, solo performances, chamber music, and even a very fine orchestra. There was a purpose behind all that. Um, the Terrazin concentration camp was supposed to be the show-off camp for the Red Cross. And so the Nazis had a policy 
uh, to encourage all of this activity. And at this camp, there was a tremendous number of very, very fine uh, musicians, uh, top musicians. Um, of course, uh, the Jews in Europe uh, before World War II uh, almost dominated the musical scene. So you can imagine uh, the richness, actually, of this situation musically. It's hard to understand what it all felt like. Um, I'm sure that for the, the inmates and the composers, it was kind of a relief, and that was the function of it, kind of an escape. But it's my particular feeling that it was probably also almost like a drug for the soldiers who loved music and were pretending to themselves, kind of in denial uh, what they were really doing there by having all of this musical activity.